All right, welcome back to daytime. Now, I guess uh, I, I, this is where I feel I, I see patriotic refers to a nation, but how do, how do we how do we imply that we're particularly proud of an area? Is there a term for that? A, a, a local a, a locality? Is there is there a term of pride for that? Patriotic, locally atrotic. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out Just here for the love proud, of Jehovah. Jay. I'm proud. I'm proud. proud of the fact that we are in a technological hub. We in KW, I mean, so much innovation has gone on here and continues to go on here. And, and that also extends into our educational system and the, the offerings that are available to the students from a, uh, an innovation standpoint. Uh, I can tell you that I would not be part of any of it. <laughs> None of it, except for maybe choosing colors. Uh, upcoming, or actually uh, two days from now, the 10th Annual Design Project Symposium will be happening at the University of Waterloo. And joining us now are uh, David uh, Molino as well as Eric Chung from, um, and I love saying this, from Team Light bulb, audio bulb. <laughs> See, this is it. This is why I can't do it because I can't read. <laughs> audio bulb. No. So, so first off, I'm going to ask you to to tell us a bit about the event and then get into how you guys ended up at team as being team audio bulb. Sure. Um, well, both uh, Eric and myself are uh, fourth year electrical engineering students at University of Waterloo. Yeah, lightweight course, I get it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> almost done though, so that's good. Um, and uh, as part of our program, we do uh, a fourth year design project. And so we get together in a group. Uh, we, we decided to have five people in our team. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we got together as a group um, early last year and uh, started brainstorming ideas uh, as to what kind of design project we do. And we thought of maybe, maybe threw about 40 of them out and, and got the idea down to this, this audio bulb. And, uh, and so now we've, we've worked on the design, uh, ordered components, put it all together. And now we have something that's, that we can present on Wednesday. Yeah, I have to tell you, Eric, when I, I, I got the information and what Audio mm -hmm. Bulb was about, I almost didn't hit the open button on it because I thought, I'm never going to get this. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're fourth year engineering mm -hmm. students. There's no mm -hmm. way I'm going to understand this. But when I was reading through exactly what Audio Bulb was about, I was pleasantly surprised to get, I get it. And part of it is, this is an application you guys were looking at and thinking, okay, what's a basic need that's out there mm -hmm. and how are we gonna solve that? And that's what Audio Bulb is about. Right, so the idea is that it's a light and a speaker in one. So you plug it into your light bulb socket and it gives you light and sound. And so since um, it connects wirelessly to your computer, you can actually control it through your computer. So, so you can imagine this, this product, um, you know, screwed into a conventional light bulb socket. Okay. okay. So that was the idea. So we just have power coming in here, and this is just uh, line and neutral from 120 volts AC, okay. and that's going into this orb, and we have a bunch of circuit components in there, and this inter interfaces with a, uh, a wireless router we have in the room, and that router interfaces with Eric's computer there, and so right now we have these high power LEDs that are on the bottom. They can produce around 800 lumens, which which can be equivalent to a, a 60 watt light bulb. So okay. it, they're quite bright. And um, because it's implemented on Eric's computer, he can, he can dynamically control the brightness of this bulb, so you can, oh, see, it, you can see it dimming. So he's just using, using a slider on the computer to do that. And, um, and so we just have circuitry in there to, to adjust the current that's going to these LEDs, and that mm -hmm. changes the brightness that goes out. And because it's also in software, we can do more advanced functions, um, like uh, strobing with music. So if I can play some music and use, we can set this up as your speakers and at home. You can play music. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's being streamed wirelessly to the speaker at the top. So then... How did you know what I play at home? <laughs> <laughs> so we can have it stroke. Look at That'd that. be like a party mode. You know, throw a party wow. in your house. So instantly you can turn your cool? reading experience into a nightclub. Exactly. A of so then if I just turn that off and turn the volume back down. And that's, that's all dynamically controlled in the software that wow. has been developed by our team. Well, you're thinking a home application for that too, but I mean, you could think of a business application for this. And how many businesses do you know that have the, those speaker systems that are wired all through the building that's got to go through this massive wiring component in order to have, you know, announcements made and things broadcast through? Yep. Using this, it's just a matter of screwing in a, a light bulb, basically, uh, and having one area that you, you monitor everything from, exactly. and away you go. Or even at home, absolutely. for example, um, if you want to play music in your living room or kitchen, if you have some of these downstairs, you just turn on your computer upstairs, press a button, and you have your music going downstairs. You could oh. even stick it in a lamp and move it out to your backyard or your front lawn, and when you're working, you can have music anywhere. I was going to say, have you guys actually patented this yet? Uh, we're we're actually developing a business plan right now. And, I was uh, going to say, because this, this is something I can definitely see a lot of, uh, you know, when you mentioned, I mean, especially now that we're into patio season, people are going to be looking for something, yeah. you know, you, you have a light source as well as a speaker, it's ideal for patio use. Absolutely, I mean. and, and, and you know what, it's, it's only limited by as far as your Wi-Fi network can go. 
and those can be basically as far as you want with the, with the wow. technology you have at home. Well, I know it's interesting that, that Jay asked about a, a business component to this because I know so often, and this is the 10th annual design project symposium that's gone on, yes. there have been many, many of these types of projects that have gone on that we, we can see that are, are now marketed or components of them that have been used or picked up by companies mm -hmm. that have said, we can use that in a really practical way. Absolutely. Now, I think, David, we're going to let you actually put that down. You're, I, I know you're going to start crapping, Charlie. You're making me crap, and I'm just yeah, watching I feel, I feel it in my own now. Now, now, we should mention that the actual the symposium itself, there's 220 students, uh, w uh, will represent 49 working design project prototypes. Yes. Uh, and it ranges everything here. I'm just reading off the list here uh, from transportation systems, software design, health and fitness, home automation, power systems, communication systems, entertainment systems, uh, and, and other user input devices. So this, this kind of covers the gamut. And the actual event, again, is on the 24th from 9.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. And, and, and obviously, you guys are really encouraging visitors to come out in, and take this all in. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know what? On, on Wednesday, people can come up and see our project, um, see it up close and the components that we're using inside, and uh, you know, ask us any questions that we have. Well, and as engineers will, there's a little mm. bit of a competitive side to this bit. as well. I understand the Infusion Cup is up for grabs for the, mm. the best project, best overall project. Yeah, that's in terms of design, creativity, uh, business feasibility. So uh, we're definitely looking to contend for that. All right. Well, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. What a fabulous guys. idea. I'm sure we'll see that in, in stores in the future. But in the meantime, 10th Annual Design Project Symposium. It is on a Wednesday, 9.30 till 8 p.m. And you can catch that at the William G. Davis Computer Research Center at the U of W campus. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for having us. We're back in a moment. Stay with us.